Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Death's Randomizer Challenge. It has been a uh, crazy week, and I'm excited to do some more rando. Um, my cursor's on the screen. Uh, I don't remember... Okay, we got Ramu, we got Chocomog, we got Gravity randomly. We're pretty low level, I feel. Alright, let's go. Me and my chest self. So, do we get the I think we got the items already, right? Pretty sure we did. Yeah. Um... So yeah, we've had a we've had a pretty cool week this week. Um, probably the biggest thing. What? What am I? Oh, I'm a cat. I think. What is that walk animation? Oh, all right. Oh, we already did this. That's right. It's hard to tell because the chests, I don't know if they're open or not. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta go, uh, hey, it's Kate Sith. We gotta go, uh, barge in, or, uh, eavesdrop on this meeting between a car, a potion, a, a piece of wall, some NPC I don't know. Hey, Cloud's over there, chilling, and Tifa and Kate Sith are going for a journey. Wedge is trying to fix the computers. There's a white chocobo. The legendary white chocobo is just chilling in Shinra HQ. Flush for good luck. So, yeah, we had... We had okay. <laughs> I don't... I'm not sure where he's going. He's back now. And now he's... Uh, planking? All right. Uh, where? Why am I like missing my kneecaps? What? What happened to my kneecaps? All right. This seems reasonable. <laughs> it's a guy. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. So, um. So we had a pretty crazy week this week. Um, oh, glad you enjoyed Warframe, Dargan. Yeah, Warframe is really fun. Like, if you're, you know, if you're watching your, watching your money and you just want something that's gonna like waste some time, Warframe's really good. What's great about Warframe too is you can get everything for free. You're probably eventually gonna want. Okay. You're probably eventually going to want to put some uh, some money into Warframe, but you can technically get everything in the game for free uh, because there's a in-game market and people can put up stuff for whatever they want. So like you can trade if you like take take part in a big event and you get some like rare item, you could trade that rare item for something else that you would have normally had to pay money for, and eventually you can technically get everything without ever paying. So. It's kind of cool that way. I really like when in-game markets are actually, like, good. It makes games fun. Anyways, so we had a pretty cool week. Um, a lot of content has gone up on YouTube this week. Uh, my New Game Plus speed run went up. Which um, was a really good run. And unfortunately, isn't super competitive because I uh, can only get the... Wow, it actually looked like he woke up. Um, I can't get my game to run faster than 30 FPS, so I can't compete with the top time, which is running at 36 FPS. But for a 30 FPS run, it's incredible. It's like third place, if not second place, on the leaderboard. And it's like literally slower than everyone else's game. So uh, that was pretty. That was really cool. That That run is really awesome. The new route is really fun, and uh, I talked to the mod, uh, one of the mods of the leaderboards, and he said that if we can get more people to run New Game Plus, he will make it its own category. Um, well, if we can get more people to run New Game Plus uh, at a capped 30 frames per second, 
then he'll make a separate category that is uh, capped at 30 FPS. So it's kind of hard to explain if you're not into the Final Fantasy VII speedrunning scene, but basically there's two different types of Final Fantasy VII speedruns on PC, capped and uncapped. Capped, everyone has to run at 30 FPS and it's really competitive and everyone is kind of on the same playing field. And then uncapped is like the wild west of speedruns where people just run the game at whatever FPS the game is running at and it's not really competitive at all, it's more just for fun. And right now, New Game Plus is only uncapped, but I asked him if we can make a capped version because it's actually a really good category. Now that i found Materia Smuggling, um, the category is actually super fun to play. And he said if we can get more people to run it at capped, uh, that he'll make a separate category. So there's a possibility that in the future we have a capped 30 FPS New Game Plus category which would be really, really cool. So if anyone's interested in speedrunning Final Fantasy VII, um, the New Game Plus route is only two hours long. So it's not like a huge investment and it's not a super hard category either. So uh, if anyone's interested in running, be sure to come down to the stream sometime and I'd be more than willing to help with any strats that you need help with. Um, I'm going to be uploading a tutorial at some point. I don't know if I'm going to use the slow run that we already did or make a new one because the route's changed a bit, but I'm going to upload some kind of tutorial. So if you're interested, um, be sure to check that out because even if you run, even if you only do one run and just like, you know, throw out a, a run just to help with the leaderboard, um, you know, I can get you to where you need to be so you can get a time that's that's decent. So, uh, so yeah, if you're interested in speedrunning, if not, you know, obviously don't worry about it, but if you are interested... Oh, that's the that's the getting hit on the the punching minigame in Gold Saucer <laughs> animation. That was funny. Um, my precious specimen. What is your specimen? Oh, God. I think you're the specimen, to be honest. <laughs> oh... It's Vincent. Isn't that Vincent? What an interesting, uh... Interesting... Swap from Red 13 to Vincent. Technically, Vincent kind of is a research specimen, so this kind of works. <laughs> um... Yeah, so what's, what's so great about the New Game Plus speedrun is it's fast, it's only two hours long, um, none of the tricks are necessarily super difficult, and all of them have, like, nice backups. The only exception would be Suna Skip, but I have a really nice setup for it. Um, and then, there's almost no RNG also. Uh, there's a 1 in 4 chance at the end of the run that you get Wrong Warp fight first try, but that's it. Um, there's no Yuffie, there's no, like, super garbage RNG like the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the, the routes. And there's a lot of really nice backup strats. So, uh, <clears throat> anyways. Thank you for the 25 bits, Admin. Um, I have a bad joke to say. We're, we're in, we're in the Minecraft joke category, so I apologize ahead of time. What's a guest's favorite country? The Netherlands. I don't get it. This, yeah. No, I, I I fully I am fully aware that pretty much every joke in the Minecraft joke section isn't actually gonna be a joke. It's just gonna be like here's this here's this thing from Minecraft and we're gonna compare it to another thing in Minecraft and that's supposed to be a joke. Like, every time I've ever read a Minecraft joke, that's always what it is. It's always like, just just come up with something that happens in Minecraft, and that, that equals funny. Like, what what happened... What happened to... The house? A creeper blew it up. What the ha? Like, it's, it's not even like a joke. It's just... It's just like Minecraft things. 
Anyways. Uh, so we had the speed run, and that was cool. Also, I uploaded another... Oh. She, she is... She is flopping. Um, is that an upside down... <laughs> is that an upside down Reno? Um, I don't know what animation is like someone upside down. I don't know what it, where in the game someone is hanging upside down. Oh, that's awkward. Um, so... <laughs> God, it's so hard. It's so hard to talk about anything while all this stuff is going down. As soon as I think, like, okay, it's normal enough, I get, like, Bikini Babe as Tifa. And spinning on the ground woman doing a pelvic thrust as Barrett. Um, so, I also uploaded a video that uh, was talking a lot about the Final Fantasy VII Remake battle system, and how I definitely think it's not, uh, oh, never mind, the Bikini Babe is Cloud, um, how it's not related to Kingdom Hearts and or Final Fantasy XV much at all, and a lot of people really liked that, so that was fun, um. I put a lot of work into that video, so that was great that everyone enjoyed it. Uh, also, this week, we got some info about the PS4, or PS5. Hold on, we need to grab our Red 13 name. Our Red 13 name is Subsonics, of course. Um, which, before they announced the PS5 stuff I pretty much said it's gonna be boring like I pretty much knew that it was just gonna be spec stuff and if you're into spec stuff then yeah it was probably like really exciting but for me like it wasn't very exciting because I don't really care about the specs much the specs are uh you know the specs are the specs. Like, I don't really care that much. I know they're going to be better than the PS4. There are certain things that sounded cool. But I'm not really here for, like, how nice the console's going to run. Because I already know it's going to run nice. I want to know, like, what the backwards compatibility is about. What features it's going to have. You know, when it's releasing. Like, all the, all the important stuff. So, And they didn't go through that at all. But there was some interesting stuff. Yeah, they didn't even talk about the design either. I, people were thinking hopefully they at least got a look at what it looked like, but we didn't get that either. Um, they pretty much, all they did was just throw numbers. That's all they did. Just threw a bunch of numbers. Um, but some of it was interesting, and if you're into specs, then you probably, you know, were really interested in it. Long story short, they're pretty much saying that... Uh, it's going to be, like, the specs are slightly worse than the Xbox Series X, X Series X, uh, X, X, X Series X, Box X, Series X. I think I got all the Xs. Um, but it's supposed to run, like, smoother. They were saying, like, it's more customizable and more it's it runs smoother so that they think it's actually going to run better even though the specs are slightly worse so at the end of the day it's probably going to be about the same kind of just like the xbox 360 and the ps3 were where like they were they were comparable enough to where like yeah the xbox had like certain things over the playstation but at the end of the day they were comparable enough to where you would just buy whatever you know suited you do I want Red 13? I do have the Adaman clip for him. Yeah, I might. I might grab him instead of Tifa. Get rid of the Aegis armlet for now. I should really take Eris because I still don't have any way of healing yet, which is a problem. But uh, I don't know. We'll just 
we'll just go for it. One nice thing is that his, uh, his materia isn't randomized, so at least I have fire all in sense. That's a poison, which is cool. See you later, elevator. <laughs> the materia is a crying woman. Okay, that's still enemy skill. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, like some of the stuff they talked about was interesting. And, um... Hold on. I'm a little curious because the poison was a poison and the enemy skill was an enemy skill. Let me make sure uh, the randomizer is working correctly. Let's see if these potions are still potions. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if the item randomizer is working correctly. That's uh, something. The enemy randomizer is working. I don't know, it has to be... The enemy randomizer has to be working right, because... Oh yeah, that's right, I'm not allowed to run away. Shoot. Um... The enemy randomizer has to be working right, because the field model randomizer is working right. So that must all just be stuff you can't randomize, or something. Because that randomizer only had one... It's only F level that it randomizes, and I have the right F level in, so... Yeah, it should be alright. I think those items are just... Hard-coded, and we can't change them. Hey, JJ, think of the host. We'll keep going and see. But... I know I have the right F level file, because... The field models are changed, so... It should be right. I keep forgetting I can't run away. That's interesting. <laughs> Use ice on it, even though it's definitely not an actual fire. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> his animation was like takeover, even though that's not what he was supposed to do. So now he's like invisible. And now his animations aren't working. He dealt damage to Barrett, but we couldn't see it. Anyways. <laughs> um. So yeah, it was cool to hear some of the stuff they talked about. They talked about how the game's gonna games are gonna load like a hundred times faster and stuff and all this crazy stuff, but a lot of that doesn't mean a ton to me until what is going on a lot of that doesn't mean a ton to me until I start seeing like games and like what the console looks like and the features the console has that that's that's the big thing I really want to know what features the console has you know this is a this is a crew um, that's the big like that's the big thing like what is this backwards compatibility they keep talking about? What is, uh... What are the menus like? What what kind of things can the console do other than just play games? Like, like that's the big thing. So we'll see. But it was cool that they at least said some stuff. Um... There was one thing, though, that they did say that worried me. Because they keep talking about backwards compatibility... And a lot of people are saying that they're hoping that the, the console is backwards compatible with all PlayStation games, which is a stretch um, for a couple of reasons. For one, they already sell PS1 and PS2 games digitally on the PS3 and PS4 store. So I'd find it hard to believe that they would let you throw in CDs 
because they're already trying to sell the games. Um, so that's problem one. Problem two is the PS3 has a really weird architecture, which is why... Oh, God. Cloud in the wheelchair kicking himself in the head. Um... Which is why, instead of doing ports of PS3 games, they have the whole PlayStation Now thing, where you can, like, stream PS3 games. Because it's really hard for them to port PS3 games, because the PS3 architecture is really strange. So, and I don't think they're just gonna, like, let you throw PS3 games into the PS5, given that they've been pushing PS Now for a long time. So, that's problem number two. Problem number three is that during the spec announcement they said something about when the ps5 releases over a hundred ps4 games are going to be compatible which is scary because if they say over a hundred that means not all of them <laughs> and if it were just physically backwards compatible if you could just throw a ps4 disc into the ps5 and it worked then it they wouldn't have said over a hundred they would have said all so I don't think the backwards compatibility is physical at all. I think it's... There'll be like a hundred PS4 games you can digitally download. And then maybe PS Now will still be a thing on the PS5 so you can play PS3 games. And then maybe you can port over... What, what would be really nice, it's not what I want. Like, it's not my dream setup. But what would, what would be cool is if you could take your PS1 and PS2 games that you've bought on the PS3 and the PS4 store and play them on the PS5. That would be awesome. And it sounds like that might be the path they're going down. Um, that would be so nice. Because right now, I have a bunch of PS1 games on my PS3, and I have a couple PS2 games on my PS4, but I never want to launch either of those consoles just to play those games. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm in the mood to play PS2... I'll just turn on my PS2 and look through my physical PS2 discs. I don't want to launch my PS4 and go through my library and find which PS2 games I have. And I especially don't want to go th on the PS3 and scroll through my 500 PS3 games because they're all in the library thing and like a giant list and find my PS1 games. So, and the PS3 doesn't even have like a good search function either. So, it would be awesome if I could launch the PS5 and have like this nice organized library where it's like, here's your digital PS1 games, here's your digital PS2 games, here's PS Now, here's the 100 PS4 games that you can download, and then here's your PS5 games. That would be nice. It wouldn't be perfect. You know, it, in, a, in a perfect world, I would love to be able to just throw in any disc, but that would be a nice, you know, uh, it'd be a nice compromise, I guess be better than nothing was cloud riding the thing there that was cool <laughs> um so yeah that would be a nice compromise but we'll see i mean there's a chance that we get playstation now and 100 ps4 games and that's it and that would suck but i guess it's better than nothing oh i am materi keeper and eris is dead Spoilers. Is that a save point? What is this? Why is there a model here? There's usually not a model here. There's a, there's a save point and a chest. I don't know what that model is. Oh, crap. I forgot. I'm forced to have Eris and Tifa here. I don't think they would do a selection of PS1 and PS2 games, only because they've already been selling them for a while. They kind of, they backed themselves in a corner because the PS3 game could sell PS1 games, and the PS4 game could sell, or the PS4 console could sell PS2 games. So now, like, they don't want to just 
open it up and let you have anything because you already spent the money on these other consoles. So they they don't want to like, you know, short sell themselves, which I understand. But I don't know. I, I know it's I know it's a pipe dream and they would never do this. But I honestly wish they would just sell the PS5 because the PS4 is still a good console. It's still a console that everyone can enjoy. A lot of the games that come out within the next couple years are probably still going to release on the PS4. So why not make the PS4 like the budget PlayStation console? Lower the price of PS4 Pros and have that be like the budget version. And then make the PS5 expensive. You know, make it like, and they're already, it already looks like they're going to make it expensive. I think people are saying like 500 bucks. Make it $550, you know, make it expensive, but make it the premier PlayStation console. You know, it plays PS1 games from the disc, PS2 games from the disc, maybe PS3 games if you can, if not, it's okay. Plays PS4 games from the disc has a library of your digital PS1 games, has a library of your P digital PS2 games, has PS Now, and if you have any digital PS3 games, it can play those as well without you needing a PS Now subscription. Plays your PS4 digital games and has a copy of the PS4 store that you can access. That would not be hard. Having the PS3 store would be hard. Having the PS4 store, I don't think that would be difficult. And then has its own physical library and its own PS5 store. You know? I know that is like a pipe dream, but I, if you made it the premier PlayStation console, up the price a bit, and then made the PS4 like the budget version, I think it could work. And everyone would love that, and people would be willing to spend the extra money or save up a little longer to buy a PS5 because no one, the thing is, if you're if you're new to the Sony market, if you've been like an Xbox fan or a Nintendo fan, and you and you really like the PS5, it's it it's not enough just to buy the PS5. Like, depending on what they do with it, you know, if it can only play PS5 games and a hundred PS4 games, then you might want to buy a PS4 also, and then that's gonna put you back like eight hundred dollars. So why not make it? $550 and make it like the premier, it is the ultimate PlayStation console, it plays everything, you know, if you want the Sony experience, you buy this console, I think that would be better I think but again, that's kind of pushing it, I don't think I don't think they'd ever do that but and I, I think that they still make a good amount of money on PS4s so But like you know, when the play when when the Final Fantasy VII remake maybe part two comes out, they'll probably still re still release it for PS4 maybe, and then you'd have this budget option. You could buy a PS4 Pro to get it, or you could spend the extra money and get the ultimate PS5 that plays everything. You know, I don't know what these models are. I don't think there's usually people standing there. How's it going, Casper? The items should be randomized, yeah. Oh my god, we got two roots. Yeah, the items should be randomized, um, but not all of them. Some of the items are hard-coded, and they can't be randomized. Um, but any item that can be is... Hopefully. <laughs> so far, we've gotten... Uh, today, we've gotten nothing but regular items, so it might be broken or something. But I don't think it is, because like I said... The F level file is correct, so I guess we'll see. If they're not, we'll figure it out. How's it going, Mavic? I'll just do like a re randomize, I guess, if they're not randomized. But I have a feeling that a lot of the Shinra HQ items are hard coded just because of the way Shinra HQ is. Why am I invisible? Oh, okay.
Oh, God. What is happening? Dermo! Thank you for the 33 months! <laughs> 100 out of 100. Best game. Is it still the best? No. <laughs> uh, Sid is possessed. Okay. <laughs> Sid was possessed. <laughs> for a second. How's it going, Mr. One? I had to do uh, I had to do the thumbnail for this series without you, Dermo. I hope you're proud. Oh my god, look at the person freaking out in the background. Sephiroth. Okay, Sephiroth's gone. Oh, by the way. Oh god, that's my standing animation? Okay. Uh, real quick. Um Real quick, I, I noticed something. I don't know if you guys noticed this or not. Um, but I noticed something with last week's episode. Uh, let me flip over to this real quick. So, <laughs> you know the you know the part that we all memed about with the giant person in the in the this this part with the giant person, right? I didn't, at the time, because I was so distracted by the giant person behind the Shinra HQ, I did not notice this guy. This guy is the helicopter that's flying around. And watch him fly around. <laughs> it is so great. He actually, like, flies like a helicopter. He does, like, this little spin. And he just... <laughs> He's like a little... He's a little helicopter flying. I did not notice that before. It, it I died when I watched it back. When I was editing it. <laughs> and he's in the thumbnail too. <laughs> am I... What am I? I kind of look like Ultima Weapon, but I don't think I am. Hey! It's me! Uh, old guy and a rock and a sword and a wall what a crew <laughs> we need like a we need like a a snapshot of this what a crew <laughs> no that's not Palmer I don't remember where that guy is from isn't he like a Shinra employee or something forget rocket town oh yeah he's a junon vendor yo miles think about the tier two 32 months. Can I get some foam in the chat? That is a tier 2 sub for 32 months. Holy cow, Miles. Thank you so, so much. It is so great to have you around, man. Oh, cool. We got a, we got a train on our side now. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> what is happening? You know... For the majority of the first four episodes, a lot of the models we got were, like, pretty okay, but we've really gone off the rails. And by off the rails, I mean this train doesn't have rails. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've kind of gone off the rails a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. She has the Minerva Band. No wonder she's styling and profiling. Uh, we're going to give... Oh, my God. I just realized I have remove for this. <clears throat> you hate to see that. Uh, 
That should be good, I hope. Hey, I feel it, Miles. No big deal, man. It's good to have you back. Yeah, I still don't have any healing, so I gotta be a little careful. I do have some potions, but that's it. So I gotta be a little careful. I have Eris, though, at least. For this fight. This is gonna do wombo combo damage. Oh yeah. It's so weird having summons in Shinra HQ. Framu is king of the elevator. Ouch. Hoping that Eris gets her turn during this fire. Uh, she's probably dead. I don't have any Phoenix Downs either. Oh, boys. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. This might be a bit of a problem. This guy with stronger attacks is really scary because he hits everyone. He does a lot of damage. Now he has so much health too. dead. <laughs> I don't think we get past this second boss. He's going to do so much damage. And I don't really have any burst for him either. Ow. If I blow all my potions, I might be okay. If I just blow potions and use limits, maybe? I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be enough. That's not good. Oh, the crit! Quick, put it to sleep. Robots can sleep, right? I don't know. Robots can't sleep. <laughs> I tell you what, when we started this run, Before we continue, let's let's try to see if the items are randomized correctly. Yo, Brew Crew with the brand new sub. Look here in the chat. That's a brand new sub. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, what's a save that... This might be good. This was an Aegis armlet, I think. Okay, good. Items are still randomized. Good, good, good. So we just, it just so happened that those potions were potions. Pro like I said, there's probably some code with the Shinra HQ that causes a lot of the items to not be randomized. Did I pick these up, by the way? 
Ja, ist schon das Passion. We're going diving. Scuba diving. We could save here, but there's not much reason to. Double roots. So yeah, when we started this, and I picked up three Aegis armlets, I was like, wow, this run's going to be easy. But giving the enemies plus 25% stats is actually pretty nuts. Like, you don't notice it too much with the regular enemies, but the bosses do so much damage. It's actually pretty nuts. If I hadn't picked up those Aegis armlets, we'd be ha we'd been having some trouble. Oh yeah, a lot of people in the comments were talking about, um, they had no death animation for some reason. A lot of people in the comments were talking about the, um, the roller coaster game and also the motorcycle chase. I don't know if either one of those is going to be randomized. I don't know where they take their models from. If they take their models from the field models, then they will be randomized. But if they don't, then it'll look the same. So, I have a feeling that the motorcycle game won't be randomized. But, the... Um... The roller coaster game might. Because I think we've seen a couple roller coaster game models. But I think... The motorcycle game is on another field. I, I think it's in the mini game fields. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be randomized. We'll see. Same with the snowboarding. The snowboarding, the motorcycle, the world map, those are all like in different files than F level. But I think uh except I, I think maybe roller coaster isn't. Um also, the MOG scene, I don't think is. So I think the MOG scene will also be randomized. Actually, I know the MOG scene will be randomized because I've edited it, edited it in myself before. So the MOG game will definitely be randomized. I don't know about the other ones. Submarine minigame also, I don't think will be randomized. I know for a fact MOG house will. I'm going to give it a 20% chance that the snowboarding and the motorcycle are. That dropkick, though. Uh, I'll give it a 50-50 that the roller coaster game is. I'm not sure about that one. I could probably go check, but where's the fun in that? I don't think anything will beat the randomizer that we did ourselves <laughs> when we randomized the MOG game. How's it going, Tasty?
give this another shot. As long as Eris doesn't die, we should be okay. Hopefully. fun. This, this challenge was designed to be more fun than hard, but it's turning out to be kind of difficult. I mean, I did want it to be difficult. That's why I said no escapes. So I thought that would be funny. And it has caused some problems. Uh, so, enemy models are randomized, but they're not different. So, like, if there's a soldier and he looks like Diamond Weapon, he's still a soldier. He just looks different. But the bosses aren't randomized. They are, however, buffed. Everything in this mod is, uh, everything in this challenge is buffed by 25%. Which turned out to be a lot worse than I thought. <laughs> I thought 25% would be like, eh. Like, I figured 25% would be pretty pretty strong. But then I picked up three Aegis armlets and I was like, okay, we're going to fly through the game for free. And that's not the case. Even with the Aegis armlets, that 25% makes a big difference. And keep in mind, Aegis armlet is like the fifth best armor in the game. I'll be honest, I do not want to get hit by this. Probably should use Choke Mog. I mean, Eris will get her limit though, if she doesn't die first. Okay. Uh, Midgar Zolum will probably be randomized, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Everything's buffed regardless, but randomized, I'm not sure. A buffed version of this guy is scary. He's already scary casually, but he doesn't have much health, so you can kind of burst him down. But because he's buffed, I can't really burst him. So all of his really scary moves, like his stupid put-to-sleep move and spinning move, are all going to hurt. Wake up, Barrett. No. At least I'm doing good damage with Bolt. Okay, he's already spinning, so we should be okay. He should be down to like 700 health, maybe. Nah, maybe less than that. That hurts. Just do anything so Eris can do things. Alright, we're good. Twenty-five percent of not a lot of health is still not a lot of health. So that's good. Beyblade let her rip. 
Oh man, look at this. Showdown of the century. Uh, so this fight shouldn't be too bad. Uh, but there is one problem. Well, two problems. There's two glaring problems with this fight. Uh, the first one is I can't one-shot the dog more than likely. Which is usually the best way to do this fight. Is to one-shot the dog really fast. The second problem is Rufus really likes to crit. And if he crits me, it's gonna hurt. And I have no way to heal other than potions. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm going to have to take out the dog. It's going to be too long of a fight. And by dog, I mean... <laughs> that thing. Nice! I did one-shot it. Thanks, Apocalypse. Can you be... Paralyzed? What if I'm Stop. What a disgusting pet. Nope. Ouch. So he's doing like 60 damage. If he crits me, he's gonna do like, I guess double, like 120. Maybe a bit more. Uh, it's supposed to be Dark Nation. Why it's called Dark Nation, I don't know. But Nice. Ramu is MVP. Yo, JJ. Thank you so much for the brand new sub, dude. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm the World Cup. Okay. Uh... Oh, you know what, though? This isn't the in-game sprite, though. This is like when you walk up and it's in the field, so that doesn't count, but... <laughs> it's still cool. Thank God Airbuster's here. Oh, I remember what those are now. These are dead bodies. This whole time I've been trying to figure out what these two models are. They're dead bodies. What in the world? <laughs> I love that the animation for Barrett shooting was a little longer than normal, so he just kind of like sat there with his, with like, pa da pow, pa da pow, pa da pow. Oh, here comes Barrett. <laughs> if only this scene was randomized. Alright, everyone, pay attention to the car. This is my new favorite thing to point out. The suicide door. The, the car door is the suicide door for some reason. There it goes. That still bothers me. I'll never stop pointing it out now. I can't believe I played this game for 20 years and never noticed it. I can't unsee it. It's the future. 
Okay. Uh, well... We do have a slight problem. I'm gonna need Eris for sure. Um... Normally, at this point, you have some pretty good fire defense with Elemental. Uh, we do not have that. We do, however, have the Minerva Band, though, which nullifies fire. So, Eris is going to be doing good. I kind of want Eris to take more damage, though, so she can heal. Maybe... Maybe we'll do Eris Tifa, so Tifa can have the Minerva Band. Yeah, I like that idea. If only Cloud could have the Minerva Band, but he can't. I think Cloud has way more magic. Oh my god, dude. Cloud's magic is so high because of the apocalypse. Holy cow. He's gonna like one-shot him with Remove. This is gonna be insane. Oh yeah, Dragon Armlet. I could do that too. Good call. Alright, Cloud's just gonna 1v1 this. Let's be real here. <laughs> Cloud's about to bring the pain. Oh, I forgot the swap. That's all right. I forgot to swap the back row or front row. Doesn't matter. Cloud's gonna wipe the floor with them. Step aside, ladies. So unfortunately, we didn't get randomized here, like I said. Kind of figured. All the mini games are in like really weird fields, really weird uh, files in this game. They're like completely separate from the rest of the game. Same as the world map. What's up, Mendo? That'd be funny if there was, like, one thing in here that grabbed from the field models. Like, the portraits or something, so the portraits were just random. I was kind of wondering if Cloud's model was taken from the field models because I thought I saw the motorcycle Cloud in one of the fields. Maybe he's also located in the field models, but they just it's not used. Because I remember we saw that Cloud that had like his legs wide open like he was sitting on a motorcycle. And he had, like, a brighter look to him. Yeah, all the uh, portraits blink. If you never noticed that, I just ruined your whole experience. Because once you notice it, you can't stop noticing it. They blink, like, a lot, too. Like, constantly blinking. It bothers me. <laughs> There's a lot of stupid details you notice when you've beaten this game 5,000 times. Alright, so this is going to kind of hurt because we're in the front row now. Ramu's about to bring the pain though, so I'm not worried. Ow! Maybe I should be worried. The motor ball's up the pump.
Yo, RJP, thank you for the 245, dude. If I were to try to make a mixed drink and name it after a summon from Final Fantasy, which one should I do and what color slaver should I go to represent it? Oh my lord, that damage. Um, you, you should make a Kajata drink. And it should be like a blend of a bunch of different colors. And then you should put like a straw with a bowl on top. It should be terrible. Bob brought the pain, dude. Yo, Snipes with the 33 months. Welcome back, dude. Thank you so, so much. Thank God we're all safe. Old man. Uh, Sephiroth doing reverse sit-ups. A pink mog. Guy. Light beam. We're all safe. The gang's all here. Let's go on last number. Uh, Ramu did 1900 damage, I think. Almost one shot him. Oh, Zack! Zack gets to escape too, and so does uh, Mr. Zombie or whatever his name is. <laughs> Hang, Mr. Hangman, Mr. Hangman, is that his name? Am I doing the worm? What am I doing? <laughs> My standing animation is like dying. Who does this animation? <laughs> this is the. This is the best idle animation. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the Dermo animation. <laughs> this is funny from every angle. Oh man, that's great. Let's go! I just... I'm gone. I'm already gone. I peaced out. Stick with the girl crew for now. Yeah, I'll take Mr. Hangman and a Materia. Zack and a Potion are gonna go on their own adventure. Alright. Yeah, so unfortunately, the world map is also normal, as I figured. The fights won't be, though. The fights will still be randomized. The models, at least. Okay, before we get to an incredible telling of the Nibelheim flashback featuring probably a bunch of people that shouldn't be there, I'm going to go to the bathroom. So I'll be right back. 